Troy McKetri. Well, uh, thanks for the opportunity to uh, be here and, and speak with everyone about our research. Uh, so the seed money, the seed award that I uh, so humbly accept, uh, will go on to support uh, research into long non-coding RNAs from Ewing sarcoma. <clears throat> so first, Ewing sarcoma is uh, it's a disease that primarily affects pediatrics and adolescents, usually between the ages of uh, 10 and 20. Uh, it can occur in the bone, it can occur in the soft tissues. Um, not much has actually changed in the field of Ewing sarcoma in the last 30 years. Uh, so then let's talk about long non-coding RNAs. You know, peanut butter and jelly makes a great sandwich, right? So long non-coding RNAs, uh, let's think about basic biology. DNA makes RNA, RNA makes protein. Uh, long non-coding RNAs do not make a protein. They actually tell other genes, uh, do you need to be turned on, do you need to be turned off? So they actually have a regulatory role. So the work uh, that, this, uh, that this grant will uh, support is actually investigating the role of a handful of long non-coding RNAs that we've identified from both Ewing sarcoma cell lines and patient samples. Uh, a subset of these long non-coding RNAs actually uh, predict over, uh, poor overall survival, meaning that if this long non-coding RNA is expressed highly in the cells, patients do poorly, and they also indicate that these patients have a higher risk of relapse. So investigating the function of these is really important, and we hope to actually translate that over to the clinic to use these as non-invasive biomarkers to predict relapse for some of these patients. So uh, thanks again for your support.